So in one of my previous videos, you'll have seen that I got the Moses Lipod Pro, which I am just really loving. And so what I wanted to do in this video was show you three ways that I use it and also a few ways that you can get cinematic shots with it. So that's what this video is going to be about. This video is sponsored by Film Convert. So there are three ways that I've been using it so far and the first is actually putting it on a tripod and using a fluid head so that I can position it in different um, position it at different angles. So tripod fluid head is definitely one of my preferred ways of using it. The other is just using it as it is. So putting it down, you can use little mini tripods to elevate it off the ground and then have that lower angle. So if you wanted to get, you know, just anything that's down lower than not having it on the tripod and just having two little tripods to support the front and the back. Um, so that's another way of doing it. And then the other way is to just use it as a monopod. So it comes with the little tripod feet. So you can stabilize it and it won't wobble around and then you can just use it as the monopod and have it going up and down. So that's also another way that I've used it quite a lot as well. So in terms of cinematic moves, I will show you a few that I've been using and a few that you can use if you were to get the slipod. So the first one is just literally going sideways, so going left or right. You've got the you've got the slipod on a trider, a trider. What is a trider? You've got a, you've got the slipod on a tripod, and then you just have the motion going left or right, pretty much like a slider. And this is really great for having something like a reveal shot where you're. Um, the camera is behind an object and then it's revealing a location or some action that's happening. So the other way is using it as a monopod, as I mentioned before. So just using the little tripod feet that it comes with and then having an up and down motion. So this is also another mo another move that I really like a lot. So you literally just put the slide pod down and then you set the motion to go either up or down and it will act as a reveal or just a nice steady motion to, yeah, reveal a scene or an object or something like that. The other thing is going having the up and down motion is putting it on a tripod and kind of flipping it so you it's kind of underslung is that a word underslung anyway um, putting it on a tripod and then flipping it so that you can have the motion going up and down but then you get motion that is closer to the ground so obviously if it's on the tripod you're kind of reaching up for something looking for something um, whereas if you flip it around and it's hanging then um, you could get shots that are going to be lower to the ground so that's another way that I also use it. So as I said the sponsor of this video is Film Convert and I've been using Film Convert Nitrate for a good few years now. I pretty much use it on every single video and the great thing about Film Convert Nitrate is that you can colour correct and colour grade your footage all in the Film Convert Nitrate plugin and it is essentially a film emulation suite which gives you access to lots of different film stocks so you can create a really classic film look to your footage just basically taking away that digital look and it's just perfect for colour correcting and colour grading. The other plugin that Film Convert has is one called Cinematch and this is perfect if you're shooting with a multi-camera setup and you're not using cameras which are identical. It basically allows you to match both cameras really quickly and it takes a lot of the manual work out of doing it without using Cinematch. So that's a really great plugin to use if you're shooting with a multi-camera setup. It has various different camera packs so if you also wanted to just emulate a certain look from a different camera, then that's something that you can also do with Cinematch. I've dropped a link in the description so that you can check out Film Convert and Cinematch in more detail. And if you use the code Tamara G, you'll get a 10% discount as well. So the other move is using it like 
a jib. So this is again where the tripod and the fluid head comes in handy really well. So if you put the slipod on the tripod and fluid head, you can angle it however you want, but then whilst the slipod is extending or retracting, you can also move the fluid head along with it so that you can create that kind of jib effect that you would get if you were using a jib. Um, but that's also a great way to reveal a scene or bring a subject into focus. So the next one is the push-in. So you can either have this on the ground with two little tripods or you can have it on a bigger tripod. You don't necessarily need a fluid head for this because you're literally just gonna be pushing in. So if you have an object or a space that you want to go through, this works really well. So you wanna have something that the camera is going through or at least going towards so that it has that sense of motion and um, so that's another way that I like to use it it's really good if you want to get a close-up of something or if you just want to bring something into focus so in reverse of that of the push-in you've got the pullback so it's exactly the same thing except instead of the slide pod extending you're attracting it So the next one is one that I like to use if you were going to be revealing a scene or basically leaving a scene. So for that you'd put the slide pod on a tripod with the fluid head and then you put it at a diagonal angle and then you're literally just going to be extending the tripod, uh, extending the slide pod if you want to reveal the scene or retracting the slide pod if you want to leave the scene essentially and this is really good for creating establishing shots which i've talked about in another video i think and if i haven't then i will do um but establishing shots which basically give the viewer a sense of place in your scene so very quickly before i forget um so i started doing this video maybe a month or two before i was pregnant and i was intending on finishing it before i gave birth here he is, by the way. And um, I forgot to mention one other move, which is when you put the slide pod on a tripod, put the slide pod on a tripod, and then you put your camera facing downwards so that you're getting a top-down shot, top-down shot of a product or something or an object. And that's a specific way that I've been using it quite a bit in some of my review videos to just show some um, products off so that's a really good way to use it just thought I'd mention that because I realized going back through the footage that I had forgotten about it so there is one more way as well which is using a gimbal so Moza have the Aircross 2 and the Aircross 3 which are both gimbals which work independently of the slide pod but you can also attach them to the slide pod to create another axis of motion so that's something that i'm hoping to show you in a future video but for now i've dropped a link in the description to where you can get the slide pod and if you use the code tamara gabriel you can get 10 percent off so i hope you found this video useful if so do give it a like and for more videos subscribe but thanks for watching and catch you next time